We've all heard the term speed kills MPG, but have you ever really thought about why that is? Why is going 69 miles per hour going to use more fuel than going 64 miles per hour? We're not trying to accelerate or go any faster. So why does the engine have to work so much harder to do that? Well, the answer is aerodynamic drag, and this is the science behind it right here. When we're driving down the road, we're using the engine's power to propel us in a certain direction. There's two forces of nature that are working against us. One of them is rolling friction with the ground. I think of that as just being like the weight of the vehicle, resting on the hubs and the tires, making contact with the road surface. And the second one is aerodynamic drag. We actually have to push the vehicle through an atmosphere. It's not, it's not like the air is nothing, it's a fluid. And uh, we really don't experience that a whole lot at, at town speeds. Our main resistance is just gonna be friction with the ground. But once you get up to about 50 miles per hour, there's a switcheroonie. And when you get to highway speeds, you can really feel that force. All you have to do is stick your hand out the window when, when you're driving 65 miles per hour. And you can feel that the force of the air pushing your hand back. Well, that same force you can see in this diagram is also pressing against the hood. It's pressing against the windshield. It is pushing in the opposite direction that we're trying to travel. So if we say we need 1800 RPMs or 2000 RPMs just to maintain a highway speed, the engine is doing that work to overcome aerodynamic drag. And we can see right here on the, uh, this nice little chart, kind of how the coefficient works. The aero drag increases exponentially with speed. So if we start at 70 miles per hour and we go to the, the drag line right here, and we go over to see how much horsepower we need to overcome that, it's about 200 horsepower. But if we do the same thing with 60 miles per hour and we go to the curve right here and we go over, it's just over 100 horsepower. So you might need 120 horsepower to maintain 60 miles per hour fighting against aero drag, but you will need almost 200 to overcome 70 miles per hour. And the more horsepower the engine puts out, the more fuel it consumes, the harder it has to work. And that's why speed kills MPG.